driving and driving. What you getting out of living? Who cares for what you've got if you're not having any fun? Here and welcome to another cooking rodeo with your Taylor Car Girl. Um, I hope you all had a great uh, holidays and uh, Christmas and um, New Year party. We did. And I must have been a good girl last year because Santa was really good to me. <laughs> I got um, three tickets. If you if you look at my Instagram, you know it already. But those who are not, don't have Instagram, I got three ticket live concert early access to the Newsboys, which is um, one of the bands I really like. Uh, we sing a lot of worship songs from them in a church, and uh, you probably the, the most famous is God's Not Dead. See my T-shirt. God's not dead. <laughs> uh, they had this was the music to the movie with the same title, God's Not Dead, where a college student proves God to a um, um, anti-religious, um, yeah, professor. Um, he's not, he's not agnostic. I think he's completely anti. Um, religion anyway uh it's a good movie if you if you look for it god's not dead is the is the title and my favorite songs from them is born again and uh oh they have so many i have all the cities i have there's not one bad song on it so yes they come to castro valley february 17 and we have three tickets Woo! i take eddie and my husband with me then uh what else did i get let's well, the best uh, present uh, I will not show you right now. I will show you when the amp is there. I got a bass guitar. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. As you know or don't, not know, I, I played bass guitar as a teenager in a girl's band, Susie Quattro style. We were really bad. But um, since I, I sing worship, I started picking up the guitar again. And then I thought, man, I really like the bass. I, I really like playing bass. And uh, I, I, got, I guess I said it enough, often enough that my husband heard it. And I got a bass guitar. I got a, um, not, a not a really expensive one, one for my use, you know. But it has really good reviews. It's, uh, um, we looked at it and uh, we did our research. So I hope um, that will be good. And uh, this bass guitar came over Christmas in a special price with everything with it, amp, everything. So I thought, okay, um, I, should, I should buy that. And then my husband bought it. Uh, for Christmas. Yay! <laughs> I'm, I'm a bass player pretty soon. So next uh, Taylor Cargill Rodeo, maybe I show you my guitar. We are still waiting for the amp. They came in two packages and the guitar came single, but the amp is coming soon. So that's why I'm not showing it to you today. Uh, anything else? Uh, we, we had good times and as I said, 2022 was not a bad year for us, with all, is, despite all the stuff um, with COVID and vaccination mandates and Cal here in California was very stressful, but it also, all this stress shifted me towards our church and becoming born again. And I'm not afraid of anything. I know it's part of the bigger picture and God will do what he needs to do. and. I'm not afraid anymore and uh, everything else this year we had good times we had good vacations um, we had uh, health wise we survived COVID and uh, influenza A H1N1 and also I'm a risk factor patient with my diabetes but I have a, a stunning good Im immune system that's what my doctor said, and hey, eating whole plant-based is part of that immune system, of the cause of that immune system. 
Now, uh, what are we cooking today? So it's past New Year. I can't see any sweet anymore. Any, uh, I don't want to even look at candy. So I make a healthy whole plant based stew. And uh, some of you might that know that stew under a different name. I could not, I researched, I could not see the original. I see it in many different names. I call it uh, Cabbage Stew Herzegovina because I got it from a friend from Herzegovina. Uh, she worked with me at distance learning at a community college. Uh, I started at distance learning before I moved to creative arts, but um, now I'm retired. But uh, she showed me that recipe and that's why I call it um, stew or cabbage stew Herzegovina or cabbage Herzegovina. And um, I have a feeling it's a middle Eastern, a middle European, Eastern European recipe. The people in Romania might know it, or Bulgaria, or Serbia. So, if you have a diff, if you recognize the recipe, and you have a different name for it, just put it in the comment. I do not want to offend anybody by calling it different. I know it as that. That's why I call it this way. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. You need your iPod. Woohoo! And let me get you down here. That is, did you see what I'm doing? Oh, I have a new ring light too, also birthday present. So I'm working with a ring light now, really professional. Tater Cowgirl gets really up to speed here, tech, high tech wise. So I hope um, the picture is better than before. I don't know, we will see. Uh, let's take this down as much that you see what I'm doing here. Yes, yes, yes. And let's move that a little around here so you see my my cutting board. So uh, we put. Um, how do I start? Okay, we are whole plant based vegan, so I'm using. I'm not using meat. You can. The original recipe, of course, was a meat recipe, but we are not using meat. So I use butler soy curl crumbles. These are butler soy curls. I crumble them by stepping on the bag <laughs> and it gets crumbled. Um, and I have to tell you one thing. The first time I, I did this was a recipe whole plan based. I had butler taco soy soy curl crumbles they, they they sell it like that and they're really really good so i had those so i used those made this stew and everybody loved it and then i made it a second time and i used just the the curls the crumb uh, as the crumbled curls without the taco spice and everybody said it's good but something is missing and um I'll just put the phone better in here and uh so I realized that taco, that taco spice does something. So I, I will use taco spice with it. Now, we put it on saute. Of course, we don't use oil because oil is concentrated fat calories. But from four cups of um, bouillon, vegetable bouillon, we put a little bit in and then let it heat up. And uh, then we put the curls in to water saute together with the onions and um, with uh, some yeah, the carrots and peppers we do later. So let it just get hot a little. It already starts. Let's put it in. So it curls in. So again, the best thing to, to make them crumbly is to step on the bag you can always put it in a second bag if you are afraid the bag is opening and then step on it <laughs> carefully and then it all crumbles nicely okay let that get and then our onions we put those in too i have a uh, half a red onion and i this is how, how i cut them for this stew so nice little half rings it's part of the thing of course you can take other onions but i have that red onion it looks good in the soup and we let the, let it uh, saute a little yeah it's getting warm And 
then I show you in the meantime what else we have to use. Or maybe I cut the peppers here. So you had six of these little tiny peppers, all colors, make it a little colored. And uh, three of them are already cut so that we don't get the, the video too long. And um, I will cut three more. Make sure you, you cut, you take out all the, there's not much in it, in these little peppers. That's why I like to use them. But make sure you take it out. You don't want to have it in there. Okay. bit more water if we are not oil you know if you put oil in it's easier but we are water so thing let's get that a little in there okay just cut those um, peppers in little stripes Now, first thing first, I'm putting now the taco spice in there, which was at the crumb. The first time I used this crumbles, the, the butler taco crumbles, and they were perfect. So I used two tablespoons. Of course, now it's maybe I should open it. I don't know. the crumbles we put the peppers in then I have a uh, half a cup of those baby carrots but I I cut it in, I cut them in half so that they don't take too long and we put now I start with About two, two cups, yeah. I have one and a half cup left in here. Almost two cups, so we can put more in, but I put that in. Probably need the whole four. And put some liquid smoke. Yes, a good junky. We got smoked paprika. We need a lot. Tell you that much. I was shocked when it, she told me how much paprika she puts in, but this is smoked papri paprika. So that goes in. Um, we need tarragon. This is a half a teaspoon. Tarragon. My one in the garden is over, but I have a dried one here. So. I usually dry them and put them back in the glass. <laughs> but I have that here. We put in two bay leaves. Okay. And then we put in a quarter teaspoon ground uh, cayenne pepper. Oops. 
uh, caraway seeds very important because uh, some of you might have a digestive problem with cabbage and caraway seed help to avoid that that's why caraway seeds and cabbage should always go together I have a, some paper from the thing and so ah, this is one teaspoon liquid smoke okay put a little bit salt in and black pepper you know. I always have to forget one thing this time it's salt and pepper <laughs> to take out of the it's too much just a pinch. Yeah. yeah. A little bit salt. Pinch of salt. You can always salt later, you know. And some pepper. Yeah. So we have the pepper mill here to use. Where is my pepper meal? Here. Okay. A little bit black pepper. Mmm, tastes, mmm, smells good from that taco spice already. So, that looks good. The meat eaters, of course, you can do goulash. The, the um, uh, original recipe had ground meat, but she said she also makes it with uh, like goulash meat, like small chunks of meat. I make it with the crumbles, of course. And uh, now we put in, we turn that off. Okay, now we put in, this is a 15.5 ounce peeled tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes, swoosh them a little in there, and I take another one, another one of those, oops, So it's off now, you know, and for now I keep it off because I do not want it uh, um, uh, burning stuff. Okay, you know the, the bouillon I use is the garlic bouillon. If you don't use the bouillon, add garlic, but I have garlic bouillon, garlic based bouillon, so I don't need more garlic. Then I have, um, this is about half of a baby potato sack, one and a half pound was the sack I think, and this is half of it, and I cut all the little baby potatoes in halves. Not so much because of the size, but because um, I want the sauce going really into the potatoes. You can you leave everything out and cook it like cook it without potatoes if you don't want to have if you want to have your starches on the side like i sometimes do so you can have rice noodles or potatoes with that or bread fresh bread tastes good but for now i put the potatoes in this is a stew we all like and we will eat for dinner today so mix that in a little I always try to keep those um, bay leaves on top so that I don't have to fish them out later. <laughs> okay. Then um, we add the rest of the four cups of bouillon. Okay. And I think this is it except of the cabbage. So the cabbage was a small, I had a small head of cabbage like this like this I, wash, I, I cut it in not too small little pieces and washed it 
in my colander here. You see that? And this is now going in. And don't be afraid that it looks so high. Um, the cabbage really goes down when it cooks. You won't, you won't even see it anymore much. So this is it. We got everything in, I think. Yeah, everything is in. Now I need the lid. As I said, salt, I only put a pinch of salt and you can always salt later. But as the bouillon is already salted, I think um, I don't need it. So we close the lid, put it on seal. Then we take um, manual for five minutes and let it go. And I come back to you once that boy has done my cooking. Having any fun? <laughs> I keep singing that song <laughs> since I put it on New Year's Eve on that little short. Uh, it was so funny because uh, half of my family, it, this was includes me, we thought we'd take a picture and the other half took a video. So we kind of froze <laughs> looking at it. It looks so awkward but funny in a way. So I thought I'd post it as a short on my YouTube. Now uh, I back to my cooking. Uh, so five minutes was the steaming time and those of you who have an iPod know this is not the actual cooking time The five minutes means that's when it's high pressure up there and uh, I did not let it uh, go on warm because I wanted to show you today and we have no natural release I just opened the valve let it steam out and now we open the, the lid and then um, We will taste it and look how it tastes, okay? So let's go down. I hope it's not getting too foggy. I let it really go until no steam came out anymore. Yeah, perfect. Look at this, how nice it looks. Can you see that? Oh, the colors look good. Okay, let's put something out and it shouldn't be too soupy. So that's just fine here. And the next day it even tastes better, I can tell you that much. I tried that before, it's just awesome. Okay. Oh, here's the, the, the leaf, I just saw the leaf. Well, it will come back. I don't want to have to leave somebody in the, in the, the bay leaf. Okay. There should be one more in there. Okay, who cares? Ah, there it is. Fishy, fishy. Okay, that looks good. Get a little bit more. Now I try it for you. Of course. You know, and the iPod uh, is such a good, um, I love my iPod. Those of you who haven't tried it, you might want to give it a chance because especially for stews you make them i could leave it on on uh, warm you know automatically it goes on warm when it when the cooking time is over and then uh you leave it there until your ki your kids or your husband comes home and eat so you don't have to watch it anymore it's fine you know you can turn away you don't have to watch it and you can do something else and right now i'm making a quilt for addy as you know, if you follow my Instagram, uh, I, I promised it a long time and I never had time and I was working. Now I'm retired and I let her choose all the colors and stuff. So it's not a, a surprise. She knows I'm making it because uh, she sees me working on it at home. And um, so she, she chose uh, like purple, pinkish fat quarters combined with like dark black and grayish looks really good and um, I have a I cut them diagonally and then I sew them together it's gonna be a nice quilt for her bed and uh, this takes a lot of time right now so I really don't have time to stand in the kitchen and cook and uh, my iPod saves me from that so this is cool and um, 
anybody who hasn't tried it, please try it. I'm, I'm not a high tech girl, but an iPod I love. I love my iPod in the camp, in the camper. When we go on vacation, I take it with me and at home too. I always use it. And now this is, this is it. Let's put the video up a little bit down. So let me try it. Mm -mm. The caraway seed, the tarragon, very good. Now look at the potatoes, they are really soft, perfect, a little bit hot still, so I have to be careful. Mm, good. The stewed tomatoes, you have to stew it yourself or use just tomato sauce, you know. Oh cut tomatoes. I like the, the, the whole tomatoes in that and cut it up, you know, like this. I like, I really love it. I'm sorry, it's hot. That's why you hear noises. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. It's a, a meal for a, uh, for a stormy day like today. Stay dry, people. I hope nothing happens. Be careful when you're driving. And uh, I see you next time to another cooking rodeo or showing my bass guitar or showing you my quilt. There are lots of stuff going on. Oh, and the, the, um, the clothes swap is coming up. So if I can, I might film from there and show you some clothes I find and give away, okay? And until then, as they say in California, Peace out and bow.